Hello friends, welcome to this video. Uh, in this video, we are going to learn about the GNU debugger, which is GDB. And it's the most popular debugger for the Unix system to debug C and C++ program. So what is a debugger? It's a program that runs other programs, allowing the user to get exercise control over this program and examine variables when problem arises. And there are um, there is not only GDB, there are also other debuggers like Intel debugger, Softties debugger, the WinDBG. So a debugger is regarded as the best friend of a software developer, as it helps uh, the developer to de develop robust and error-free programs. And in this video, I am going to show you a simple demo how you can debug your uh, your program and remove error from that program. Okay. Now let's let's, let's discuss a few points where uh, where you can uh, use GJDB. If a code dump code dump happen, uh, then what statement or expression did the program crash on? And if an if an error occur while executing a function, what line uh, the program contain the call to that function, and what are the parameters? What are the values of the program variable at the particular point during execution in program? What is the result of a particular expression in program? So these are the following uh, condition where uh, GDB is very useful. Now it's time how to install GDB. Let's create a folder GDB. I'm currently using Ubuntu, so it's very easy to install uh, GDB in Ubuntu. Simply type sudo app get install GDB. Press enter, type your password, then press enter again, and it's done within a few minutes. I've already installed it, so it haven't taken any much time on my system, but on your system, it can take time. So now let's make a simple program in C and then we are going to debug it with the help of GDB. Create a simple program. We are going to create a fact, uh, factorial program. And we explicitly induce some error in it and then we uh, go are going to correct the error with the help of GDB. So here we uh, just take a, a number as an input from the user. Now another variable declaration that. Fact is equal to fact into i. So now we have done factorial. Now print the factorial. It's in Delhi. Factorial of the input variable is factorial. Now factorial of num is fact. Given zero. So program is written successfully. Now let's compile it. So 
so we have compiled it without error warning and then to run and to run number four and you can see factorial of four is it's showing zero oh i just need to make it run should not be stop with zero no factorial of four you can say oh i need to compile it i just forgot to compile it now run it again four now you can see a garbage number is coming and we all know that the factorial of 4 is 24 which is fact a factorial is uh, a basically simple problem in the math where we just multiply that number in the reverse order starting from that number till 1 like 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 which is 24 now we knew that there is some problem in this program and we are going to use GDB uh, for that to solve that problem so there are basically three ways to include our uh, executable file uh, include uh, to debug our program first is to load the target in the GDB uh, as an executable file okay second is loading the memory dump and third is loading a process file or attaching the process ID so these are the three methods here we are we have that uh, we have the executable file here the fact and we are going to use that executable file only now let's uh, do gdb fact and press enter so you can see we have just uh, simply type gdb and the executable file and the file is gdb opens in beginning it shows the copyright and uh, license and the other related information and here in the bottom you can see that reading symbol from file fact no debugging symbol so let's uh, knew about what are debugging symbol so debugging symbols map instruction in the compiled binary program into their corresponding variable function or other lines in the source code simply we can say that gdb requires some additional help so that it can describe the program in a much efficient way when you are analyzing this when you are analyzing this is what a debugger symbol allow a debugger to do they basically provide information about variable function and other bunch of stuffs this symbol can be part of binary that is you can ten, tell your compiler that is gcc at the compile time to go and to go ahead and create a debug binary which is include which include the debug symbol so basically if we like take an example like a uh, simple common example the daily example like I knew a friend of mine and, and I don't know its name now uh, without a name like I know he's my friend is a with these no, he, this is without any symbol or value like if I know his name his name is John so we know the value so this means that uh, so this is with debug symbols like this we just now quit this uh, GDB and, uh, and compile our file with the uh, debugger symbol to debug with symbol include the dash G then the file you can see now let's do g db the executable and now it's run so now let's simply first run our code with the run command or r r u n press enter now you can see it's running and it's asking us for a number let's enter 4 and it's showing the factorial of 4 is minus 200448 so we knew that this is not correct the answer should be 24 so now we are going to uh, debug this program you can use run or simply r to run the program now the um, program is executed uh, completely but showing wrong answer so uh, we are in a condition that, that we do not know where the error is 
so we need to add some breakpoint a breakpoint basically means that the program is stopped ex the program execution stops there at the breakpoint in gnu uh, debugger that is uh, gdb it provide three breakpoints three types of breakpoint first is regular breakpoint with this type of breakpoint the program uh, stops when the execution stops execution when it come to certain address for a function you can simply use break at the reg uh, regular breakpoint the watch points the the program uh, stops when a certain variable is read or changed this command sends a watch point that will stop the uh, program when the value of the specified variable is changed okay now third one is catch point the program stops when a certain event occur like say signal is received the catch point is set using the catch command this the some of the events are like throw in c++ catch in c++ c oh not c it's uh, ex ec for v for etc these are the example of events you can simply disable the breakpoint with the help of uh, disable in enable with the help of enable its format is like Uh, disable breakpoint simply b and the point number like one so we have studied also the breakpoint now let's add a breakpoint let's do simply list uh, so it will show our source code of our program it has shown first in line press enter again or type list or l so i type l it shows the next line it shows next in line but our program has only eight line left So it has shown the whole code. If I press L again or enter, they can see our program has reached the end. We can just simply write L and the line number where we want our program, where we want uh, to go. It's good practice to uh, specify the file name, like the file name is fact dot c. And line number one. And so it's a good practice to write the file name during the breakpoint, as GDP can get confused when we are working with the multiple files. Okay, so let's set the breakpoint at the main function. Break main. So we have set the breakpoint at the main at address zero x four zero zero five fp. In the line number three, you can see line number three. so program will not execute after this the program will not execute until we want it to execute so now let's run it with run so you can see we have a breakpoint at 3 now what we want is to see the um, where is the problem now type next so next command basically do is the execute the next executable line code basically so you can see we have next the this print of entry number now next or type simply n the next or simply press enter and pressing enter it will execute the last instruction which we have typed now we have entry number 4 now here the loop we finishes the do while loop now we have reaches at the for loop now let's press enter 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 so you can see uh, our loop has run four times because the value of num is 4 now press enter again now you can see we have uh, got the wrong value so this means that there is some problem in this program let's again go to the line number 1 And run this program again. Yes. Next, we enter value four. So now we just want to check whether what's the value of the num. Simply type print and the variable name. Num. You can see it's correct. It's four. We have entered four here, and we have got the value four. Now you can see here the dollar and one. These are the debugger uh, variables. We can just ignore them now, but these are of very great help in advanced cases when we want just when we want to recall what we have done in our past. Okay. 
so here we knew that the value of num is correct so there should not be any problem here execute the next program let's do one thing run this program again next 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 and a four next next and next so you can see there is a loop here let's check here if there is any problem here or no let's see our source code so you can see we have checked it till now there is no problem here and here we have another variable in stress called fact let's check its value so and there is also another variable called i and we also check its value also simply the same from here print name of the variable now you can see that the fact value is, is a garbage value that is minus 8352 so we have uh, detected our first problem which is that the uh, well the fact variable is not initialized means we haven't we have initialized it but we haven't given some value so that's why this contain a garbage value and which is causing us to get the wrong answer if you want to just uh, do not want to print every variable again and again there is a command called info locals which is print all the local variable you can see our three variables i is 1 which is correct num is 4 this is also correct and fact this is not correct so we just uh, knew what is the problem this fact should contain value equal to 1 that's our problem we can just do it here also like p fact is equals to 1 so we have given the fact value 1 now let's um, check it print fact so you can see fact has value 1 let's do the print locals you can see all the three variables contain the right correct value now run it next 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 four next 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 oh i just rerun it again and it doesn't provide fact the correct value so let's run this again and this time i will provide the correct value oh next Four. Now here come the facts. And let's go at p fact is equal to one. So it's print or not print. It's info. Locals should be next. I just getting confused. Now we are just running this loop four times because the value of num is four. Now here you can see we have got the correct value. The factorial four is twenty four. Now we have got our problem. We have corrected. So technically we we can say that we have debug our program correctly and found out the error, the line or the variable which is causing the problem. So we can just go again in our program and fix that value. Writing fact is equal to one. Let's quit this. Compile that program again. Run it. Entry number four. So we are getting the correct value. Fact factorial of four is twenty four. Okay. Now you can see we have uh, correctly debug our program with the. GNU debugger, GDB. That's a uh, simple, basic intro about the GDB. I hope you like the video. If you like it, then hit the like button. If you don't like it, then hit the dislike button. That's not a problem. And if you have any query, then comment below. I will answer all your queries and subscribe to my channel for more videos. Thank you. Have a nice day.